Again, we want to say good morning to each and every one in the diaspora. We say good morning to each and every one in Liberia, West Africa. My name is James, Executive Director for One Place, One Voice. Uh, I want to take this time to send my condolences on behalf of me and my family to the Lawrence family. Uh, we just want to let you know that from the diaspora end, uh, we care. So we are very saddened by the death of our brother. So we're going to be saying a few things to encourage the family uh, to continue to be strong uh, because God above is in control. Uh, Mr. A. Lawrence, death, ready got to us, especially me, because I know one thing I'm trying to do is to send a message back home to Liberia, it's a country of my origin, uh, to change the mindset of our people. But uh, stay tuned. Right after this um, break, we will come back uh, to address um, certain concerns. Thank you. Again, you are tuned in to one place, one voice. It's where Liberia meet other nationalities around the continent of Africa to promote peace, love, and unity. Um, this morning, we are here to address the family of A. Lawrence. But before we say anything at this moment, we want to take a quick silence for our beloved brother uh, who just passed in Liberia. Thank you so much. That was a moment of silence. And that was for our brother A. Lawrence. We say rest in perfect peace. On behalf of One Place on Voice Media in New York City, uh, we came on this platform to extend our condolences to the family. Uh, we want to say take courage. Uh, but we believe that A. Lawrence, he was a hero. He was not only a hero for he and his family, he was a hero of all Liberians that is in Liberia and to the diaspora. So we say uh, we want to give him many thanks for the message that he left behind to us as people. His death went not only on the continent of Africa or in Liberia specifically, his death came across America, Europe, and other places that he have his brothers and sisters. So we say on behalf of the diaspora, 
and other Liberians that live in other countries around the world, we extend our condolences to the family and we asked the family of A. Lawrence to take courage. But before we go further, I want to bring A. Lawrence his last statement that he made before his death. So I want you to stay at home for A. Lawrence. I want you to watch closely for his message that he left with his sisters and brothers. We will never relent. I want to let you know on this media, A. Lawrence, that you indeed left your brothers and sisters to continue to advocate on behalf of our masses in Liberia. And we guarantee you that we will continue to speak on your behalf. Your message, it went to all Liberians across, not only on the continent of Africa, but it went across even America, Europe, London, and other places around the world. We grieve with the family, and we want to let you know that, A. Lawrence, we will never forget your message that you left with us. As an advocate, I will continue to speak for the masses in Liberia. The duty is to educate our young generation, our people in Liberia, who have been surprised by some of the past leaders that refuse to educate our people that cause us in the search of problem today. So A. Lawrence, I pledge to you that your message was very strong that you left with us. One thing you say, and I quote, I am here to work for the Liberian people. You was a true patriot. You was a true man that lived. And I want to let you know your legacy will live forever. As long as I live, your message will remain. It will resonate in my head. And I will continue to carry on advocates until we see new Liberia. Before we go further, I want to take this time to play your live word, your last word that you gave us. And we want to let you know today is a ceremony in Liberia. But we also want to let you know that your fellow diaspora and your brothers and sisters across America, we do love you and we love the family and we ask the family to take courage. A. Lawrence left a message for us, folks. Let us listen to him and let us carry on his dream. Stay tuned. I will be right back. The murder of uh, Matthew Innes, um, one of the directors at CBL. Um, we believe that his, his, his murder, uh, that murder was, um, it has a direct correlation to the ongoing $25 million, million dollar investigation. It has been almost three weeks now since uh, the passing of the unfortunate passing of Matthew, and LMP uh, had said that they would produce an immediate, a quick, quick report. So, almost three weeks now, we haven't seen, neither have we heard about such reports. So, we pleaded with plenary so that the Minister of Justice and the Liberian National Police head, uh, those are statutorily qualified institutions under our constitution. Um, that, that, that have the responsibility of doing such. So we play our plan every day. It's on Tuesday. Hopefully that it will come. So what do you expect from that coming here? Oh, they, have to, they have to come. Some, some people say Matthew died as a result of a hit and run accident. Some people say that his car was driven by a police officer. Some people carry another story too that uh, his body was deposited uh, at the funeral uh, mortuary by a police officer, Toby Neem. Uh, we would like to know who pronounced him dead, because if an accident occurred, the first place that you would take the victim of an accident would be a medical facility. 
so that it will examine the person and then if the person need, needed medical attention, they will be attended to. If they will be pronounced there, it will be that, that medical institution and not to the mortuary at first instance. So we wanted to know, we want to have, have the accident report and then have the, the death certificate to know the cause of death. So that we hope that when they come on Tuesday, they will bring those, those reports. Finally, what do you expect from plenary on Tuesday as they come to approach you? No, I can't preempt plenary decision, but uh, uh, plenary action will be dependent on the appearance of the, the two individuals, the police director and the justice minister, and what the presentation will be like. And then that way, that way, uh, know the direction where plenary will go. So I cannot preempt plenary But Mavi Inez was a Liberian. And like any other person died in a car accident, an allegedly car accident, and and um, and we are hearing, we are hearing um, that La La National Police has visited the EAW hospital, trying to get a death certificate of Matthew Innes. How true is that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's rumor. Alleged. Yeah, it's an allegation that they visited uh, EAW hospital, trying to get a death certificate of Matthew Innes. If 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 it were true, I would be very disappointed in the Library National Police. If if, if that if that, I hope it's a contrary. Yeah. So if the, the appearance say, here, say that, yeah, the exactly. So the appearance here on 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 when, on next Tuesday, we will establish. We hope to establish uh, where he died, why uh, uh, the cause of death. If it's true, the vehicle was driven. At 2 a.m., you know, 2 a.m. hit a run accident, mysterious circumstances. It's, it's unbelievable. But I think his death is, has a correlation to the CBI investigation. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was uh, dissatisfied. There was a communication on the agenda proffered by Honorable Larry Yankwe requesting the appearance of the Minister of Finance and religious authorities to respond to the, the delay in the census, the conduct of the census. As we all know, census is very key. We, we delay by one year. And the results from census is not only based on population, but informs the health sector, informs the education sector, and family size and whatever the population growth. As key as I important that communication is, the colleague, uh, Honorable, Honorable uh, uh, Marvin Cole, made a motion that the finance minister and the authority do not appear, but rather send a communication to committee to be delayed there for two more weeks. I'm disappointed, then I don't know what we're here for. They are think they're protecting the executive. They're doing their work. Then it shouldn't, then it shouldn't be lawmakers. Yeah, man, I will not be recognized because I always speak the truth and, and, and do. I'm here to work for the Liberian people, oh man. And my hand was up before Marvin Cole. That motion, the request of the of the of the director of that communication should have been endorsed. But rather, he decided to set it up committee. I'm disappointed. Our cardinal function here is an oversight, the check and balances. They mean that we're not, we're not checking the executive branch. They, they don't need of being here. You know? They don't need of being here. I'm disappointed in the speaker. I'm disappointed in the Marvin Cole. Man. I mean, think, yeah. These are difficult times at the Capitol Building, very difficult times. Where we are, where we have been received four months of gasoline. He's paying his own way, buy his own gasoline. Where we are, time to delay. Where we are, because we're happy here. Where we are, 10 months, we have to receive consumers allowed. 10 months. I say our responsibility to you has nothing to do with that. We are committed to serving you. Whether it's there or not, you see how many many sacrifices. Me, my scholarship, everyone gave my scholarship this thing. No, I will be taking no more back to peace my dress school. No. That's why we go through that. The only people that can do that is conscious people. Only conscious people can do that. Can subject the murder of uh, Matthew Innes. Again, we say thank you so much for watching the video. Now, let's conceptualize the video together. So, Matthew Innes was a man of dignity he was a man of character he was a man that speak his mind i want the liberians to know 
in Liberia and all around the world. Even though Marvin Anders is dead, but we got his message. His message was very straightforward. I recall from that video, Marvin Anders, he talked about Ennis, Marvin Ennis' death. And he said in the video, he was wondering what, whether it was a hit and run on Matthew in his death. He was very curious to know from law enforcement officers about Matthew and his death. He was also curious to know who pronounced Matthew in his death. He requested an accident report. He also mentioned in that video, he said Matthew Ennis was a Liberian. And he went on to say, the Liberian National Police visited at the hospital to get Matthew Ennis' death certificate. And he said, and I quote, he said, if that was true, then he was very disappointed in the Liberian National Police. And he also believed that his death has something to do with the CBL investigation that was going on at a time when the 16 billion saga occurred in Liberia. He pointed something out. He said he was disappointed. He believed that they were seeking the executive interest. The executive are the leaders that are leading our country, Liberia, in West Africa today. But one thing he said that I don't want history to forget. And I want to also get the history very straight. He said something very important before he died. And he said, and I quote, <laughs> I am here to work for the Liberian people. And that's how committed A. Lawrence was in the country, Republic of Liberia. We want our brothers and sisters to know, let us stand and be like A. Lawrence. Who said, I am here to work for my Liberian people. May your soul rest in peace, A. Lawrence. But I want to let you know your message went across. And your message sink in us as brothers and sisters. No matter where we live in the world, we got your message. And we will be here for our Liberian people. We want you to honor you because we believe you was a great man. And I want to say something on this media. A. Lawrence death should bring us together. It should unite us as Liberians. It should refresh our mind that we can come together. Liberia is a small square country that we can build that nation. But we have to believe in ourselves. I want to use this public media to address Liberia and the leaders in Liberia. That Marvi Erna says something very important. He said, We got to work for our Liberians, people. That's the message that I want you to get from all he said before he died. He wants us the to of, work of for the Liberian people. That's the message he gave us. Oh, A. Lawrence. May your soul rest in peace. We want to let you know we will never forget your message. You said we should stand as brothers and sisters and work for our Liberian people. Thank you for such a powerful message. You are speaking for your brother, Marvin Ernest, and only to realize that you 
was going to be dead. And you spoke for him. You said you didn't know who pronounced him dead. When you leave, you requested the accident report. And you believe the Liberians National Police visited the hospital to get such certificate. And you said, I quote, if it was so, then you was very disappointed in the Liberian National Police. You also believe that mafia and death, it has something to do with the Central Bank of Liberia. Mr. Ernest, we got your message very loud and clear. Again, we want to say to the family of A. Lawrence, please, on behalf of the diaspora and all the Liberians around the country and around the world, we say, take our condolences. In our layman language, we say, never mind, yeah. But we want you to take courage as family. Because our brother death went across and it got to us. But we want to let you know that we will continue to speak for our masses. This is a time, fellow Liberians, that all Liberians from wars and wars should come together and stand together and unite themselves. Leaders in Liberia, you should understand that our brothers and sisters' life are very important. And we will not want to see one more life taken. Let this message be very clear. Now we love our people. We love our brothers and sisters. No matter how conditioned in the country. No matter the economic situation. No matter the country is not going to the right for direction. But our brother lives and sisters' lives are very important. And we have to take it into consideration. We are so saddened by A. Lawrence's death. We want to encourage your family to take courage. We want to encourage your family to stay strong. We just want the family to understand that we do not take a. Lawrence's death for granted. We want to send a message to let you know that sisters and brothers in the diaspora, we are here for his death. But his death brought us a message. And the message is, he said, and I quote, he was there for his Liberian people. But now, let's change the hymn to we are here for our Liberian people. Our people are very lovely. Liberia is a sweet, sweet, sweet land of liberty. And our people must live in peace and harmony. We should care for one another. We have to work in the interest of the masses. Leaders, I want you to understand that the Liberians put you in the power to look after them. To make sure they are well taken care of. We have our forefathers. We have our mothers. We want you to care for them. Go from county to county. Anima County, Grand Basa County, Grand Kitman County, Kakata, Bone County. Just go on and on and on. Go into those various counties and make sure our people are doing great. Please try to work on the economy. Our people need the economy to be worked on. And these are things that we can do to have a change in Liberia. We also have to work on accountability. We got to work on transparency. Because we believe when you work on accountability and transparency, then the country will start to have what we call a transformation. Ladies and gentlemen across, on my voice, whether in West Africa, whether in America, the Great America, whether in Europe, in London, it doesn't matter where you are. If you are Liberian, I want you to let you know that we got to help to rebuild the motherland. This is the country of our origin. Again, I want to use this occasion to send a message to the diaspora. Let us be Christian in terms of how we play with our country image. 
Liberia is the only thing we have called home. Tomorrow, when you retire part of this any part of this world, you want to go home and relax. You go by St. Paul River and you can relax in your hammock and you can ask your wife, your children to cook some pepper soup for you with raw fish for St. Paul. You know what I mean. It's about time that we come together. Let's news A. Lawrence death and a message for us Liberians across the globe to unite ourselves. Leaders, we hold you accountable. We hold you responsible for making the society to be a better place. Lastly, I want to let you know, leaders of Liberia, please encourage business investors by doing the right thing. How do you do it? Revisit your agenda. Call the pro poor agenda. Lay out framework. Revise your agenda if you have to. Put the economy together. Get some experts in the country to work on the economy and see how well we can present ourselves as country of origin to the world to encourage people and other Liberians around the world to come to invest into Liberia. Again, we want to say, A. Lawrence, rest in perfect peace. And you know that we love you. And we'll always love you. I will take this time to play Lauren's last message to us. So we can understand what he said and what he meant. And the message that he left with we Liberians around the globe. So that we can continue to speak for our people. Our people deserve better. They deserve everything. Liberians should be fresh in everything we do in Liberia. Liberians should be fresh in business, Liberians should be trained. Our educational system, there should be a structure for our children. Our young generation are sitting. We should create avenue to help them. Let's move our children from the street. 9, 10, 11, 12 years old that go on the street to sell each and every day. Let us try as government to remove them from the street. Let's create a program, an individualized program that our children can look up to, to go to school, to do better. We have wasted too much time in Liberia. It's about time that we restructure ourselves. And I want to let you know, opposition leaders, please put yourself together to help the country as well. Even though you're not president, but you can help the country with whatever resource you have. Help your people. It's not all about political power. It's not all about I want to be president. It's not all about have opposition. It's about helping the country to make the country to be a better place. Again, I want to say God bless America. God bless Liberia. We love Liberia. Have our condolences. A. Lawrence, rest in perfect peace. We love you and we love the family. Thank you. The murder of uh, Mafia Innes. One of the directors at CBL, um, we believe that his 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 murder, uh, that murder was, um, it has a direct correlation to the ongoing 25 million million dollar investigation. It has been almost three weeks now since uh, the passing of the unfortunate passing of Matthew, and LMP uh, had said that they would produce a immediate a quick quick report. So. Almost three weeks now, we haven't seen, neither have we heard about such reports. So we pleaded with plenary so that the Minister of Justice and the Liberian uh, National Police head, uh, those are statutorily qualified institutions under our constitution um, that, that, that have the responsibility of doing such. So we plead with plenary, and it's on Tuesday, hopefully, that it will come. So what do you expect from that coming here before we. Oh, they have to. They have to. Come, uh, some, some people say Matthew uh, died as a result of a hit and run accident. Some people say that his car was driven by a police officer. Some people carry another story too that uh, his body was deposited uh, at the funeral uh, mortuary by a police officer, Toby Neem. Uh, we would like to know who pronounced him dead because if an accident occurred, the first place that you would take the victim of an accident would be a medical facility. 
so that they will examine the person and then if the person need, need a medical attention, they will be attended to. If they will be pronounced there, it will be that, that medical institution and not to the mortuary at first instance. So we wanted to know, we want to have, have the accident report and then have the, the death certificate to know the cause of death. So that we hope that when they come on Tuesday, they will bring those, those reports. The final day, what do you expect from plenary on Tuesday as, as they come to approach you? No, I can't preempt plenary decision, but uh, uh, plenary action will be dependent on the appearance of the, the two individuals, the police director and the justice minister, and what the presentation will be like. And then that way, that way, uh, know the direction where plenary will go. So I cannot preempt plenary. But Mavi Innes was a Liberian. And like any other person died in a car accident, allegedly car accident, and and um, and we are hearing, we are hearing um, that La Brea National Police has visited the EAW hospital, trying to get a death certificate of Matthew Innes. How true is that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's rumor. Alleged. Yeah, it's an allegation that they visited uh, EAW hospital, trying to get a death certificate of Matthew Innes. If, 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 if it were true, I would be very disappointed in the Library National Police if, 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 that, if that, I hope it's a contrary. Yeah. So if the, the appearance say, here, say that, yeah, be exactly. So the appearance here on, 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 on next Tuesday, we will establish, we will hope to establish uh, where he died, why uh, uh, the cause of death, if it's true, if, if, if Hugo was driven, at 2 a.m., you know, 2 a.m., hit a run accident, mysterious circumstances, it's, it's unbelievable. But I think his death is, has a correlation to the CBR investigation. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was uh, dissatisfied. There was a communication on the agenda proffered by Honorable Larry Yankwe, requesting the appearance of the Minister of Finance and Legis authorities to respond to the, the delay in the census, the conduct of the census. As we all know, census is very key. We, we delay by one year. And the result from census is not only based on population, but informs the health sector, informs the education sector, and family size and whatever the population growth. As key as I import that communication is, the colleague, uh, Honorable, Honorable uh, uh, Marvin Cole, made a motion that the finance minister and the authority do not appear, but rather send a communication to committee to be delayed there for two more weeks. I'm disappointed then. I don't know what we're here for. They are think they're protecting the executive. They're doing their work. Then it shouldn't, then it shouldn't be lawmakers. Yeah, man, I will not be recognized because I always speak the truth and, and, and do. I'm here to work for the Liberian people, oh man. My hand was up before Marvin Cole. That motion, the request of the of the of the director of that communication should have been endorsed. But rather, he decided to send it to a committee. I'm disappointed. Our cardinal function here is an oversight, the check and balances. They mean that we're not, we're not checking the executive branch. They, they don't need of being here. You know? They don't need of being here. I'm disappointed in the speaker. I'm disappointed in the Marvin Coleman. I'm really thinking. Yeah. These are difficult times at the Capitol building, very difficult times. Where we are, where we have been received four months of gasoline. He's paying his own way, buy his own gasoline. Where we are, Copy.
Ibiye ikwa naka zungwa kenune Anaka Anaka Nelie kenene Nelie kenene Hey! 